Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to show you how to install Umbrel OS on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can have a one-click app store to be able to uh, uh, like install Home Assistant, Uptime Kuma, anything like that on it. And it makes it to where it's really easy for the user to use. Maybe they're not as good as at installing things, so you can just install things with one click. I've had some viewers ask me about if there's any easier way, so I've been looking at easier ways to install things and show you all how to install it and get it up and running. So a little bit about this series is I'm going to be going over a smart home from scratch. So I'm going to be installing things to get the home automations working, getting your, your home smarter day by day. So uh, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. So this is what we'll be installing today. Connect your umbrella to, uh, to your home a router, power it up, uh, visit umbrella.local. That's if you have MDNS set up. Um, Real-time updates, app updates, monitor everything. It's got an app store to where it's easy one-click touch on, on installing things. You can browse the Umbrella App Store. So you can go down here. You can see all the apps that they have. Speed. I'm sure there's Home Assistant in here somewhere. Yep, Home Assistant right here. You can install Home Assistant on it. There's all the apps. It's got a pretty good selection of apps. So, um, oh, sync thing's really neat. You can sync it between different servers. But, um, so, I'm going to get installing this on Proxmox. So you have two ways to install Umbrella OS on Proxmox. You can go with the helper script of installing it completely with this script right here, or you can install Debian, and then you'll have to go over to the Umbrella OS and copy this command, and you can install it on the Debian side. So. I'm gonna go back over to my helper script and um, we're gonna install it this way for now so it just installs it real quick. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to go up to uh, view GitHub just to show you what it will be running actually. Um, so I'm going to um, go over here and to GitHub and then I'm gonna type in umbrella and then you'll see what it's installing so it's installing dependencies like normal curl sudo mc and then it'll say it's installing umbrella and then i'll uh, it'll set the docker config path it'll make the directory if it says yes on having a overlay fs it's going to install overlay for the storage driver and then it's going to run that curl command that we just seen over there and then it's going to do a system da damien re reload right there and then it's going to set the uh umbrella startup dot service so it starts up when the operating system comes up so now we're going to set up sh customize and then we're going to clean up so that's what the uh command's doing on install so let's go over to the ct so It'll set default settings right here. Then it'll update script. And then, um, and then it will show the IP address. This will run when it updates and you actually update it from the, uh, the VM side, the LXC. So that's what it will be running on the scripts. So I'm gonna start out on the helper scripts and uh, now, and I'm gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go over to my Proxmox panel. I'm gonna go to the node and then shell. And then I'm gonna paste in umbrella.sh and I'm going to run it. Now, this will create a new umbrella, umbrella LXC. So I'm gonna press yes. I'm gonna press yes. I'm gonna do yes. So it's gonna set up the storage, the temple list.
I would recommend uh, on your router setting your static IP here for the Umbrella OS. This install could take a little bit. So now it's starting up. You can see it's starting over here. You're going to copy the IP address that I allocated from the DHCP server. It's installing the operating system, Umbrella. It's doing the exact same steps that you saw in the script that I showed you. If you do get an error for any reason, you can turn on verbose mode and it'll show you more details Then once it's done installing, you're going to get an IP address and you're going to copy it. And then I'm going to go to the IP address. You can see it starting up. So now we're going to go through the setup. So I'm going to press the start button right here. Then I'm going to put in my name and then a password. And then another password. And then I'm gonna press the create button right here. And then you're gonna get congratulations, that's it, you're all set. Then now you can get to installing your first app. So after the setup, I had a little bit of problems get things installed uh, for some reason, but I found out it was because it, it was zooming in the background. So um, you'll go to your VM, your LXC, your umbrella, a LXC, and then you'll go to memory and then ch change this to three or four gigabytes and then you'll go to your disk because it will silently fail that it doesn't have enough disk so you'll have to go to your your root disk right here then you'll have to go to resize and then you'll have to uh, put 10 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes in here and then give it a little bit of space to work with so now I'm on the install first app. You can go down here to settings and you can see storage, you can see your usage, you can see your RAM usage, and then you can change your name, your password, you can turn on remote tour access, two factor auth access, shut down the instance, restart the instance, and uh, start troubleshooting the instance right here. And then you can see your, your umbrella OS version right here and then you can check it and then I'm going to go over to home assistant or no I almost done install up time camera real quick and I'm gonna install it right here press the install button and this will take a bit to install it's got to pull down the docker containers Okay, now it's installed. Now, 
if it does stay here installing forever that means that uh it's not having a good time in the background and you need to uh up your ram and your disk space you can also go over to your proxmox and you can go to your console right here and then you can um go over to let me see okay you can go over to, to, uh, to here, Umbrella, and then Scripts, and then App, and then LS Installed. And then you can see all your installed apps. You can also go over here and go backwards, and you can install your apps uh, through here. So I'm going to just install one. I'm going to go with Install Home Assistant. So now I'm going to install Home Assistant. I'm going to run it. It's it's pawing down the Docker container. You can uh, install the apps through here, or you can install them in the UI, whichever is easier for you. Still pulling it down. Okay, it looks like it's done, and it started at the Docker comp Compose. And um, so, you're going to go back to your LS installed. And then you can see I have Home Assistant, plus I have Uptime Kuma installed now. So I showed you how to install it from the UI, and how to install it from the command line. You can go back over to your, um, uh, to your instance. And then you can see that Home Assistant's installed now and Uptime Cummins installed. So you can go into these and you can see them. And you can set them all up. So I just walked you through step by step on installing Umbrel OS on Proxmox. This makes it to where you can have one click install. And I've also walked you through some errors that I got along the way. Like I got ooming from there not being enough RAM available. I got some disk space errors. Uh, that I saw on the back end when I was using CLI. So I updated this space, updated the RAM, and it began to work better. Uh, if you do get the installing forever to where it's just installing forever on the uh, green button, you do need to look at the RAM usage and the disk space. So uh, if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like. And also, if you need any support, you can go down to the Big Bear community, join that, and start up a support form. And I'll be glad to help you as much as possible. So, stay tuned for more.